As you can see, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying the GPS-3 Space Vehicle 6 payload. M1D engines are about to throttle down in preparation for the maximum loads that the vehicle will experience. That'll occur just after T-1 minute, known as Max-Q. During ascent, those M1D act engines will actually swivel and help steer Falcon 9 maneuver known as gimbling. Vehicle is supersonic. Approaching max Q now. Max Q. So at this point in time, we've now passed through that moment of maximum aerodynamic pressure. As I was saying, the uh, uh, M1D engines will gimbal or basically maneuver a little bit by a couple of degrees so that the rocket autonomously tilts those engines just a little bit, a few degrees, and that gimbling allows the vehicle to perform a gravity turn, which is when we go vertical as well as horizontal. So we heard the call-out MVAC chill has begun. That is the second stage preparing that MVAC engine for ignition. So in about 30 seconds, we'll have three events coming up in quick succession. The first event will be main engine cutoff, or MECO, followed immediately by stage separation, and the third event being second engine start one, or SES one as it's written on your timeline at the bottom of the stage. About 15 seconds away from main engine cutoff, everything looks nominal with the vehicle. Stage separation. Invac ignition. All right, and there we heard all the call outs and you can see there on your screen, we have confirmation of successful main engine cutoff, stage separation. Both and vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Second engine start one and there we just heard uh, that everything is looking nominal for both the first and second stages. The view on the left is really interesting because you can see both the first stage, which is at the bottom, or excuse me, um, on the top, and then the second stage, um, which has ignited its engine there at the bottom. So the first stage is still coasting upward. It has not yet um, reached its apogee. Um, it will, once it does, it will then come back down to Earth and begin its journey um, to our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. Up next is fairing separation, fairing separation, which we see there, um, our first view of the GPS-36 uh, payload. The view on the left-hand side of your screen is the first stage and the second stage on the right-hand side of your screen. Now those fairings that we saw separate, another cool view there on the left-hand side of your screen. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. Uh, we will attempt to recover those fairing halves. Uh, they are flying for the first time today, and we'll attempt to retrieve them using uh, our recovery vessel, Doug. We're now at T plus four minutes and 17 seconds into today's mission. Currently in the first of two planned MVAC burns for uh, satellite deployment. In less than two minutes, you should be able to see the first stage entry burn on the left-hand side of your screen. We expect that to last about 30 seconds. For that entry burn, we relight the center engine, E9, as well as 
uh, two of the radial engines, um, E1 and E5, so that we have a total of three M1D engines helping to slow the vehicle down uh, as it passes back through the Earth's atmosphere. You can also, if you watch carefully on the left-hand side of your screen, you can see those grid fins actuating or, you know, activating. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. To help steer the vehicle back down to its precise landing on the drone ship. Now the Falcon 9 supporting today's mission uh, is performing this entry burn for the second time in its lifetime. Uh, as I mentioned before, it previously supported the Crew 5 mission, uh, whereas those fairing halves will be re-entering for the first time of their lifetime. Now, while Falcon 9 makes its way back to Earth, um, we will be able to see that re-entry burn uh, on, the on, on our screen, as I mentioned before. Um, as whenever it was sitting on the, on the pad prior to launch, we were able to see some of that soot left over from its previous mission. Uh, if you've ever wondered how that soot uh, is actually formed, the, it's generated when the carbon-based rocket-grade kerosene, that RP-1, uh, burns and then since the re-entry occurs with the engines re-entering first, uh, the booster basically flies right through its own plume, uh, which then deposits the soot onto the exterior of the rocket. So we're expecting that entry burn to begin in just under 10 seconds. Everything looking nominal with the second stage. Stage one, entry burn startup. All right, we heard the call out, and now we can see it on the screen that that entry burn has begun. This will last for about 30 seconds. Beautiful view of planet Earth in the backdrop there of the second stage views on the right-hand side of your screen. Stage one, entry burn shut down. All right, that entry burn has concluded. The vehicle will continue to autonomously steer itself back to the drone ship. Both vehicles short. continue to follow nominal trajectories. The first stage will continue to steer itself back down to Earth. Um, as I mentioned before, we'll be attempting to land on our drone ship a shortfall of Gravitas. Now, today's mission, for those of you that may have just joined us, is uh, GPS-3 Space Vehicle 6 for the U.S. Space Force. Today's mission marks SpaceX's fifth overall GPS-3 mission, previously having launched one in 2018, two GPS payloads in 2020, and another in 2021. To date, these next-generation satellites provide increased signal accuracy and reliability to operate even if confronted by cyber adversaries. Stage one, transonic. In addition to helping with national Stage security. Stage two is under terminal guidance. GPS 36 uh, also helps us uh, also helps in many different aspects of our daily lives. In about 10 seconds, we will be coming up on Seco 1, our second engine cutoff, and we will attempt to uh, land on our drone ship a shortfall of Gravitas. That drone ship is parked a couple, on landing burn. couple hundred miles off the coast of Florida in the Atlantic Ocean. Seco. There, we just heard the call out for a second engine cutoff. Let's see if we stick the landing with the first stage. Landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. All right, there we heard the call out that we have uh, that stage one landing confirmed. Expected loss of signal, Cape. Weather is looking great all around uh, off the coast of Florida there. Beautiful view of uh, that first stage landing. Now the mission isn't over just yet. The second stage is embarking on its first coast phase, which will last about 54 minutes. After the coast, we'll... Parking orbit. And there we just heard the call out that we have a good orbit there for a second stage.